um, the problem that we're dealing with here states that we have a 56.0 gram mass of lead at 95 degrees Celsius that's placed into 70.0 grams of water initially at a temperature of 25.0 degrees Celsius and the water warms up to 26.7 degrees Celsius and we're asked to uh, what is the molar heat capacity of lead. So I drew a little picture here to understand the process. Here's a chunk of lead, here's that quantity of water, and here's that quantity of water with the chunk of lead uh, inside of it. And you want to use the idea that um, there's a conservation of thermal energy, that is the heat lost is exactly equal to the heat gained. And so um, there's no creation of thermal energy or destruction of, of energy. Um, the energy is simply transferred from the object that's losing heat and gained by the object that's uh, warming up. So the heat loss is calculated by um, using the warming equation. So this is the heat loss by lead. Okay, and the heat gained is uh, by the water. So, mc delta t is the heat lost by lead cooling down, and mc delta t is the amount of heat gained by water warming up. Now, of course, we want to plug in the correct masses and temperatures um, and the heat capacities. So um, here we're just going to use mass in grams. We'll convert to uh, moles later to get the molar heat capacity. So the mass of lead is 56.0 uh, grams. C is unknown. Uh, that's what we're trying to find, the heat capacity. And the change in temperature is always going to be final temperature minus initial temperature. So let's just go ahead and plug that in. The final temperature of the lead is 26.7 degrees Celsius in that cool, um, in that kind of warm water. And the initial temperature is 95.0 degrees Celsius. So I realize this is a negative number, but it's got to be that way for um, one of these values to be negative and one to be positive for the sum to be zero. Now for the water, the mass of the water is 70.0 grams. The heat capacity for, um, for water is 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. And what's the temperature change here? Well, as I mentioned, it's always final minus initial. So the final temperature of the water is 26.7 degrees Celsius. And the initial temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And we set that all equal to zero. Okay, the amount of heat lost plus the amount of heat gained is equal to zero. So if you multiply these things out, we get uh, minus 3,824.8 times the heat capacity of lead. Plus, you multiply all these out here, 497.896 is equal to zero. And we get a value of C, subtract 497 from each side and divide. Um, you get zero, a positive value, 0 0.130 joules per gram per degree Celsius. Okay, now the problem asks for the molar heat capacity, so we just need to convert grams to moles. So look on the periodic table, um, 207.2 grams is the atomic mass of lead. 
Okay, so the grams cancel here, and we're left with 26.97, or 27.0 uh, if we round that off to three significant figures, and that's uh, units of joules per mole per degree Celsius. So that's how you find the molar heat capacity of lead in this problem. Thanks for watching.